Hi guys and welcome to the fourth video in the series where we are learning Java using Android Studio and if you've been following the series uh, we're ready to start looking at something called variables and specifically strings so so what is a variable well as the name implies a variable is something that, that varies or changes or can be changed we can even um, have variables in our own lives things that change often and things that change rarely so for example where you live is a variable uh, you may have lived in many places since you were born or you may have lived where you're living now for your entire life but that doesn't mean it won't change or can't change so if there's a possibility of if it changing then it's a variable so what car you own is a variable your age is a variable and so on so there are there are also the kind of variables that we do generally keep such as our name although we can change our name for a lot of people it remains the same and if you get married it can change again etc so so when we're born we're nameless and then we're given a name that stables, stays with us for some time uh, for some of us and for the rest of our lives especially our first name but we could we could be given any name so this type of variable is called a constant variable but a variable nonetheless <clears throat> so so our name is a variable and we can say what type a variable is and it's a string variable it's a string type variable and like all variables it has a value so in this case it has a text value and variables can of course have number values n number values such as your age uh, or how many pizzas you ate last month and variables can have text values such as your name or what car you own or what your favorite film is so when we run our application we see it output hello world but what we're really seeing is it just displaying a sequence of letters or more precisely characters so the program doesn't know you're outputting words to make a sentence and that you're saying hello to everyone so as far as it's concerned it's just outputting the letters or it's outputting the characters h e l l o space w o r l d exclamation mark because each one of these is a character that is that is essentially what what a string is a sequence of characters so in this case it's just coincidentally spelling out hello world and as we saw in our last video we can change what our um, program outputs by editing this this value this value here but what we're really doing here is is what's called a hard is hard coding a string we can't really reuse this value again this string value again or reference it in any way or check its value or really do anything constructive with it it's not actually stored anywhere so how do we give um, a string value or a string meaning and purpose in a Java program so let's say for example we want the out the application to output our name so instead of just typing I could just type John and it would output John as we've seen before what we want to do is we want our application to store our name in its memory so we can we can use it again or reference it or do something with it so inside our our on create method as we've seen before so inside this text so we've got these we've got these uh, these funny looking brackets here they're called curly braces so we've got an open curly brace and it'll have a, a closing curly brace in this case if we highlight it it actually shows us where our closing curly brace is so anything inside this these curly braces is part of our on create method and like we said before it, our application looks for this method and it will run everything inside these curly braces so what we'll do is we'll just create a couple of lines if there's no if there's actually no text the, the program will just ignore it so we can just we can put it anywhere we want if that, that next line here we'll just ignore because there's nothing there so we'll just give ourselves some room and we declare a variable of type string and we just type string capital S this has to be a capital S so give it a space and then we have to give it a name we have to sign a string a name you can call it anything you want in this case we're just going to keep it simple I'm just going to call it my name and if you notice there's a certain way I've named it I've started with a lowercase letter and not used a space so you can't use spaces to separate, to separate the words but in this case I've used a capital letter 
just like you would on a Twitter feed or something like that. So, but the only rule that applies when naming your variable is your variable name is not allowed to start with a number. So we can't have a variable like, name like that. It's thrown up an error. And you're also not allowed to use some of the keywords. So again, you couldn't call a string, sh string, or you couldn't call it new, for example. So there's a whole a whole load of words that you're you're not allowed to use, and I'll put those those words in the comment section below. I'll probably talk about how best to to name variables in one of the in one of the future videos. So we're just going to go back to you can you can say my underscore name if you wanted, but I'm just going to go with a standard convention, my name, with a capital N, separating the words. So we've declared our string variable, and now we need to assign it a value. And we do that by saying equals so string my name equals and we use quotes and it automatically assigns an opening quote and a closing quote so string values have to be inside quote uh, quotation marks and I'm just going to put John and to finish it off we need to use the same as what we've done here semicolon you have to end your statement with a semicolon and that way the code knows that that's one statement and if we wanted to we could create another string variable string um, uh, call it just call it another name and if we want we can just end it there so we've declared a variable of type string and assigned it the name another name we don't have to assign assign the value on the same line we can do it on another line and that would maybe suggest that we don't want to, we don't want to assign the value of this variable at the start of our application but maybe when the, when the application is run it may be assigned a value through your application say for example you actually input the name in a, in a text box and in your application when you assign the name and you maybe hit a button it then assigns that name to this string but you can assign a value on another line so what we need to do to do that is we need to reference the name in this case it's this another name and it recognizes that equals oops equals let me give it another name Dave and we finish it with a semicolon so just go over that we've stated we're going to use a string type variable we've given it the name my name and we've assigned it a text value so if I go back to where our code currently displays what we see in the application in this example it would have said hello world so if we remove that, so we remove everything in those, in these two brackets, these two parentheses, they're called. So we delete that and replace it with our variable name. My name. And we can run that to see what happens. And it just displays the value of our variable and we aren't obviously limited to just playing one word. I could change the value of this string to anything. I could have it say, my name is John and I smell cinnamon rolls. We'll run that application. we see its output what we've just named our variable we can also join two variables together so let's let's rename this string to say um, just a random on a marge string marge equals uh, I've been in the game for 10 years making rap tunes and we'll assign the second variable, I don't know, something simple, um, Homer. You can call it anything you like. Obviously, because I've changed it there, and I'm going to use it here, I need to call that Homer as well. And I've changed this to ever since Honey's was wearing Sassoon. So I've got these two variables, Marge and Homer. So I want to output these both up here. So I'll change this to Marge. If I want to include Homer as well, 
just space we don't actually have to put space you can just put plus and then Homer but we like to separate it just so it's clearer so Marge plus Homer so it's gonna output Marge and Homer so if we run this and we've got a error so we see down here it hasn't run the application it's come up with an error and it's saying error semicolon expected and as you can see I've forgotten to put the semicolon in so I'll pop the sepi semicolon in and we'll try rerunning it again so I've seen that so it's outputted both string variables Marge and Homer so I've been in the game for 10 years making rap tunes but if you can see there's no space in between because the value ends there and starts there straight away so there's no space it doesn't know you haven't told it to put a space in I could put a space in there and it would, would output a space or I could put a space in there and it would put the space in or I could put it hard, hard I could hard code it by putting quotes and a space because a space is a character it doesn't differentiate it doesn't say hold on that's not a letter it's a character nonetheless a space is a character so it will output a space and then space plus so it's going to put output marge uh, variable which is this a space and then the home variable so we'll just run that again so now we've got our space so that was a very quick glance at our first variable a string variable and how we've used it into our application and, and change the output in our next video we're going to look at uh, number variables and how we can manipulate number variables and output them on our application okay guys thanks for watching thanks for subscribing if you like the video please click on the like button and i'll see you in the next video